Hi guys, welcome back to RRC and the final video of the 3D printed uh, dolly for the 114 scale uh, Tamiya trailers or other branded trailers. So before I move on with this guys, I want to show you this um, now. When I come to check the, um, would this fit into the actual hitch on the truck? The loop that was on this was far too big, so I can only think that the guy who designed this particular um, piece, he had designed his own hitch that would take that. So what I've had to do is, you know, uh, is cut that loop off. Now this piece here um, came with the 770 kit that I never used. Uh, probably you know, just give you that for a, for a trailer, which is pretty neat really. So I've drilled this out and I've um, inserted it and put a bolt through it uh, just to hold it in place. So if you are printing this out guys and you are intending to use it on the uh, towing hitch uh, on the back of the truck, then you're gonna either wanna get one of these or devise something yourself. So just be wary of that. Okay, so I've got the bits now um to complete the suspension on this um so we should be able to get this done now and um see how it looks and how it turns out okay guys let's get on with it
Okay guys, that's the bottom uh, axle hangers on there. Which are those the fun bit? Okay guys, I mean these 3D printed arms, they're not perfect, but you know, there's, you've got to take into account that, you know, a bit of distortion when it's printing, so, but they're, uh, they're not bad. These screws here, um, to go through here should have, should have been, I think it's MC13, let me just check, yeah, MC13s, I haven't got them guys, so I've the shorter ones so they've only got a little bit of thread on there but i'll have to just get them but i don't think there'll be a problem with that it's tightened up so that's good okay let's get the rest done So far, get the rest done. I was going to mount the shock absorbers. If I can keep hold of them.
Any bit of white's a bit now, which, this, you know, all the metal bits on and stuff. You can adjust the um, some shock absorbers on it. Plastic's binding a bit at the moment. Um, the spring's not really powerful enough to return the suspension. Uh, but once you get a bit of bit of grease in there, and uh, it should be fine. So we just need to get these on there now. I also bought, I also um, bought the correct length suspension bolts for this guys, because uh, the others were just too short. Okay guys, let's move up to all the suspension built up. There you go guys, that's the dolly nade on, that's the only thing I'll do now is put the mud flaps on um, on there, but that is it, practically completed. Hi right guys, um, <clears throat> just going to fit the mud flaps, uh, these were left over from the over from the grand hauler, because I decided to use the uh, full uh, rear mud guards there off on that, so I've got these left over, so these will just fit nicely on this. So I'll get this one fitted, the other one done off camera, and uh, 
see what it looks like. You may have to um, make the holes a bit wider, depending on the screws that you use to fasten these on, guys. What's looking like there. I'll get the other one on and then get you back on. Hey okay guys, that's it with the with flaps on. Um, and that is the 114 scale 3D printed uh, dolly completed. So hope you've enjoyed the videos guys. Um, gonna be using this in the, some of the videos what I've got planned. So I think it's a cool addition and uh, it's sure really good. Okay, guys, once again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.